Hello, in this episode of 5 Minutes Astronomy, we will answer the question, how can we perceive extra dimensions? A dimension in this respect is a direction, a direction in space. In our universe, we experience three spatial dimensions to move around, forward, backward, up, down, and left and right. Ours is a 3D universe. Any solid object like a cuboid has length, breadth, and height. To understand the world of higher dimensions, I'll just resort to summarizing a political and mathematical masterpiece, Flatland, a novel that brilliantly demonstrates the wild world of dimensions. The story is set in a two-dimensional world called Flatland and is narrated by a square. In Flatland, you can only go forwards or backwards, that is north and south, or sideways, east and west. Up or down have no meaning and are absurd in this place. There is a natural attraction to the south direction here. Beings here, like the square, are 2D shapes. Women are lines and men are either isosceles triangles, equilateral triangles, squares, pentagons and so on. As the number of sides increase, the male has a higher social standing and polygons with as many as 20 or more sides resemble circles and are considered the most intelligent, wisest and powerful. Flatlanders can only see each other's sides since there is no top or bottom to see what shape someone is. People in this world recognize each other by feeling the angles between the sides and hence guessing the shape. People live in pentagonal houses with separate doors for men and women. Because since women are lines, they have two pointy edges that can well kill someone. It is forbidden for the beings of flatland to attain higher knowledge or talk about higher dimensions or question some worldly facts. In one of his dreams, the narrator, the square, visits a one-dimensional world. Here, beings can only move along a line. The longest line here is the monarch. Men and women here are lines and points. They know nothing of anything outside that one dimension. Since everyone is on the same line, they live their whole lives around the same neighbors. The square decides to talk to the monarch and he tells him of the 2D world he is from, which the monarch doesn't believe. So the square enters the 1D world where he appears like a lion and surprises the monarch. Since the square is a 2D being, he can move around in an extra dimension inaccessible to the beings of the lion world. So he can actually move around and see all the beings of this 1D world. He tries to impress the monarch with his knowledge of the surroundings of the monarch which is invisible to the monarch himself. The monarch still denies the existence of flatland or in fact the square and calls it all magic. The square then wakes up from his dream. One day, the square is himself visited by a being from a higher dimensional world, a sphere. Just like the 1D monarch, the square denies the existence of the sphere or his 3D world called Spaceland. The square could not fathom the existence of directions like up and down and thought the sphere, which looked like a circle in 2D, was just some aristocrat trying to fool him. Since the sphere could move upwards from the 2D flatland, it could rise above and out of the view of the square and everything in the flatland. He could see inside all the rooms of the houses of the square and would not need doors to pass from one room to another, since those could be accessed from the third dimension. Since flatland has no concept of up or down, there aren't any roofs. He could also see the interior of beings of flatlands from above. The sphere took the square to Spaceland where he explained how the beings of this world look. He explains that 1D lines stacked together make a square. Similarly, 2D squares stacked atop each other make a 3D object, a cube. He introduced the square to a cube, but the square still denied the existence of all of this and called it magic. On returning, he dreams of a world with no dimensions, nowhere to go. It is forever inhabited by just one being, a point. The point believes that he is the only being in the whole universe and the monarch himself. When the square tries to talk to him and educate him of the higher worlds, he laughs at this idea and believes the square's voice to be his own. It amuses him that he could have wild thoughts of higher dimensions, which obviously are not possible and unimaginable. The square then wakes up and realizes his false adherence to the idea of the 2D world as absolute and believes the sphere. Since he too was taken to Spaceland, he compared himself to God, someone who could go anywhere in Flatland without being caught, and see everything from above. The story ends with the square being caught and imprisoned for having the forbidden knowledge of higher worlds and being blasphemous. 
Flatland very brilliantly helps us understand the idea of higher dimensions. We are beings in a 3D world like Spaceland. An universe with four dimensions would have beings that could see inside our closed rooms from the fourth dimension, see inside us too, and make a genes inside out without actually turning it. In this world, a 4D square, also called a tesseract, would be something created by stacking cubes one inside the other and so on, a figure bounded by cubes, something that would be near impossible for us 3D beings to imagine. The same idea would go for 5, 6 and more higher dimensional worlds. You really need to think outside the 3D box to grasp the idea. That's all for this episode. Until the next episode of 5 Minutes Astronomy, stay curious and keep looking.